All right, here we go. Time for a solo over not in the woods and check it out. It's actually snowing. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are. We're back at the scene of the crime from last week's video. If you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like right here. Check it out. It's solo overnight cowboy camping in the snow. A lot of tips and tricks going on in that video. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Now, I left the windscreen up here for a couple reasons. One, because it was a lot of work to build it. And two, because it applies to this week's video. We've been on this kick of maximizing the heat and input output and basically staying warm all night. Being that it's snowing, I want to stay warm all night. And this is going to play into that. Now, as I've stated in my videos over the past four years, this is a wind screen or wind barrier. It's not a reflector. The wood doesn't reflect. At the very most, it's going to absorb heat and radiate it off, okay? But what does this actually do, okay? It's gonna block the wind first off. Keep that fire from whipping all around here. Second, it's gonna block the wind from blowing directly into your shelter. So wind direction plays a factor in your shelter 100%. Anyone who says it doesn't, I'll take that Pepsi challenge any day of the week and twice on Sunday. Now, windscreen is simply made by stacking logs, preferably straight logs. You don't want something wonky like this. If there's bumps or lumps in it, you have a camp ax, go ahead and shave it off, try and get them stacked on top of each other, log cabin style. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna sandwich two verticals on either side. If it's really long, maybe in the center, I try to avoid that because if the flames get too high, it could actually melt off your cordage. But on the ends, you should be good. And then tie them off with a simple arbor knot and you're in business. We're tied off down there with an arbor knot and we stack four logs on top of each other. We're tied off down there as well. So what else does a windscreen actually do for you? Let's say your shelter is one full step away as it should be and the smoke is venting up through this direction. It's gonna to go to the highest point. However high you stack these, smoke tends to go in that direction. It's kind of like when you sit around a campfire, the smoke tends to always go towards you no matter where you sit. The reason for that is actually science, it's a change in the wind direction. If you block the wind flow, the smoke's gonna swirl and go towards the highest point. So when you move back over here, it's gonna do the same thing. It's a change in wind direction, okay? Now, lastly, think of your home, those that have fireplaces. The room is designed to retain that heat. That's why you have four walls, a ceiling, and a fireplace. The heat pumps off of it in one direction because it can't go behind the bricks. It's gonna come out go out this direction and up. When you construct a shelter with the windscreen, it's the same idea. If that didn't work, then your home would have three walls, a ceiling, an open wall, and a fireplace just sitting there. But we all know that's not the truth, okay? So this basically acts as a fourth wall with an open part allowing the smoke to vent. You want that heat to come outward and up being trapped in a shelter. So today I wanna to utilize this windscreen for our shelter. We're gonna go ahead and utilize this second log right here. There's a small stick out. So we have a small stick out here on this second log. I'm gonna place that there and we'll tie it off. Do the same thing to this side over here. And that will be the beginnings of our raised bed. And like I said several times, and most get it. Do you want to screw around making a long-term shelter on day seven or eight when you're exhausted with no food, dehydrated, scared, 
wondering if people are actually still looking for you or think you're dead. I prefer to do it the first day, maybe the second day, when you're fresh. That way the hardest thing you're ever going to do out here is done. And there we go. So that's what we're looking at right here. Place one here, maybe one right there, and then we'll figure out the bed portion. But this is my idea. The convective heat coming off that fire has nowhere to go. Create walls here, a ceiling and a back wall, then a wall in the front, and it's just gonna do this, warm the underside, the backside, and the top, like a convection oven all night. Put that one about right here, close to this back wall. There we go. We'll tie them off and cut them. wet logs to lay on, but the fire should dry these out. There we go. And that's what we're talking about, right there. So my one concern is there is some movement, kind of bows right here, so I can slam a log underneath there, kind of shaped like an L or a barber chair, and it will stop that from happening. Still allow the heat to pass underneath me. Next, cut off these logs here, the longer ones on the back as well, and then figure out some type of shelter system over top of us to trap that heat. I'll place this underneath that log right there and give it that middle support. There we go. Look at that. So the idea that I have we went ahead and we have our ridge line set up, not in the center, but it's offset. This is a 12 by 12. Using a 10 by 10 would probably be the best choice, but we're gonna roll with what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and lift, tie this to my windscreen on the outsides. Meanwhile, we're gonna stake a wall in down here at the bottom, and we're going to create the walls that we talked about. So you can already see the shape that we're trying to make right here. So you can see what we're trying to accomplish here. Raise this up right here. I'm gonna tie it onto this one, best we can. And then tie that side to that one. So we got one side, we're gonna pull on this string right here. There we go. I'm gonna tie this thing off right to here. Use the old modified trucker's hitch right over here on the side to this tree. And then we'll tighten it up and then stake down the back end and we should be in business. So the secret to this shelter right here, we have three walls, a roof system, the fourth wall out there blocking the wind. It's almost the same height as my shelter. It's gonna keep the flames from blowing everywhere also. That heat has nowhere to go except out and up. So all the heat that transfers this way, that convective heat from that fire is gonna go underneath me and around me all night. And for those that want to play or pretend like building something like this and using that wall does nothing, my suggestion is come on out here, lay in this stuff all night with a small fire, watching it blow everywhere, and we'll see how warm you actually are.
Here's my crappy attempt at pancakes and bacon. Not bad though. Not bad at all. Get you all in a few. So once again, small fire like that, and you're gonna maximize probably about 80 to 90 percent of that heat. It's going underneath me and all around me, and there's no doubt in my mind I'll be warm all night. So we dropped a midweek video on Friday, and I waited till Friday because it was my collab with Hardcore Hammers. I'm gonna say it, most missed it. Um, if you've seen that video, go back and check it out. We are on our second run right now that's on pre-order. The link to the Hardcore Hammers website is inside my video description box. Check that out. We've been working on this for about six months and it finally became reality. I'm very proud of this. Um, I'm hoping that we can get enough of these in people's hands and get them spread around and see that we can do a different take on an ax or a pack ax that's just as competitive as the ones that exist right now. Um, if you haven't seen the video, and again, most haven't, here's a quick clip and I'll show you what that ax looks like and what it's capable of. So the second batch is available on pre-order right now. That link is inside my video description box. And the second run has my logo burned on the handle. So check it out. Once again, that link to Hardcore Hammers is inside my video description box. Other than that, I'm just gonna lay here and chill and decompress and get some firewood. Catch you all in the morning. So this shelter is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. You basically have a convection oven. The three walls, the ceiling, that small fire, that heat's going right underneath me. I can feel it on my side right now. And I can lay out here with no blankets, just utilizing that small heat source and be warm all night.
So while we're sitting out here having breakfast, yes, my Etsy store is open. And again, most people tend to buy things on Sundays. For the next few weeks, we have our zip hoodies and pullover hoodies. As discussed last week, and most missed it because I got probably about 100 emails, batch one and batch two of the zip hoodies shipped this last week. Batch three and four are going to ship this week. There are literally over a thousand orders, and I have to make each and every single one of those. Clean it, wash it, spray it, iron it, check it, and then package it up. Okay, so that all takes time. So batch three and four are going to ship this week. We're about one week behind for the final ship dates. So don't worry, your good money wasn't stolen. You're gonna get your items this week and next week. So I appreciate your patience. I have a modern survival skills course with Buckeye Bushcraft and that link can be found in my video description box as well. The classes are going to be in March, April, and May for a weekend and it gives a modern take on survival training. Far too often people attend these schools and they think they're going to grab an axe and go to the woods and survive when the reality is most people live inside of a city. You know, Once you get to the woods, if you even get to the woods, that's step one. Step two, once you're there, you're going to have modern gear, you're going to have modern stuff. Um, how do we combine the two? And that's what I'm looking at moving forward with my channel, as well as in a classroom setting. Um, like the whole deal with hardcore hammers, we're trying to bring new ideas into the light and update the old school survival training in schools and classes into the modern era. And that's what I'm all about, utilizing things that worked for years, as well as new fresh ideas. So if you're interested in training with me and Jake Trent from Buckeye Bushcraft, go to my video description box, click on Buckeye Bushcraft. You can see Modern Survival Skills course. Again, it's March, April, and May. Click on it and I'll see you there. So real quick before we get out of here, I wanna show you something. That smoke is traveling straight up that wall like it's supposed to. It's not entering the shelter. And that was one of the main intents of that wind screen. A, to block the wind, B, to have the smoke travel upward to the highest point, and it's doing just that. On that note, let's go ahead and end this bad boy off. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon affiliate page, and two, my Etsy store. Both links can be found inside my description box. Now, please do in that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. You out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.